Have you ever faced a really important decision? A decision that you probably know could really impact your life or your organization. And your heart was telling you to do one thing, your head telling you to do another thing. You ask people that you really respect and they all have their own opinions. And suddenly you just find yourself getting stuck. Hi, my name is Dr. Alan Barnard. I'm CEO of Golded Research Labs. And I've been curious and doing research for over 20 years on why good people make and often repeat bad decisions. Specifically why we often resist making good changes or choices. Choices that can actually help us improve our life or our organization. Well, when researching why this happens, I always find it very interesting that when you ask people directly, what do you believe was really blocking you from making the changes or choices you believed are needed to achieve your goals? They almost never blamed lack of wisdom. They blamed lack of courage. But is it really lack of courage that blocks us from making good changes or choices? Well, through my research, I realized that we often confuse lack of courage with the inability to make decisions involving ambivalence. Ambivalence is that awful emotion when you have mixed emotions about someone or something. You see both the positives and the negatives and you first get stuck and then you overreact, triggering a vicious cycle. Here are two examples. Number one, we don't want to give up the positives of eating what we want until the negatives become so big that we end up overreacting, going on a crash diet, starting a vicious cycle. Number two, we want to maintain harmony with our partners or co-workers so we don't voice our concerns about their behavior until the negatives of doing so become so bad we end up losing our temper, overreacting, feeling guilty, apologizing and going back to not speaking up. So what will happen if you give people a simple process to first of all understand and then to resolve their own ambivalence? Will it give them the courage they thought they lacked to make and sustain good changes or choices in their life or organization? Well, over the past few years, we've been conducting a research study to test this idea with both individuals and management teams around the globe. The outcome is really exciting. Yes, it does. In my Odyssey Decision Maker program, I will share with attendees the simple five-step process called the Procon Cloud Method that they can use to first of all understand their own ambivalence and then to find a way, a practical way of overcoming it. I will also share with you a few real life case studies to show you how attendees have applied this to make better, faster decisions in both their personal and professional life when it really matters. If you wanna find the courage to start making those changes or choices that you know will help you, will help your organization, just click on the link below and let's start the journey together.